Hello, welcome back to Minish Cap. In our last episode, we took on the boss of the Temple of Droplets, and we made our way through the graveyard. So in today's video, we're going to be tracking down King Gustav. The first thing we have to do is get our key for the graveyard back from that raven. Well, that was easy enough. Alright, so let's go up to the graves and see if we can find the king. Alright, so apparently this ghost is friendly, I guess, because he has a hat on. Not sure what that does. Maybe we'll check that out at the end of the video, after we're done up here. I'm always a little more intrigued when the kinstones aren't just like a chest or a golden enemy. There's got to be something in one of these graves. Just trying to make sure we don't miss anything by pushing on all of them. This seems pretty straightforward, just push the block and pick up the heart container. We gotta figure out a way to get up three of us through to press those switches. We're into the royal grave. <laughs> I like that Eslo just starts talking even though there's enemies about to attack us. Looks like we have some Gibdos.
Okay, so a puzzle we have to it seems like trying to dodge that blade while getting three of us to the end of this. Huh, that could be tougher than it looks. It's gonna take some timing, I guess, to get around this thing. Oh yeah, even if it hits one of your clones, you seem to disappear. <clears throat> Maybe it has to be at like the end. and time this out. It's actually more difficult than it looks. You have to wait till that thing's right at the end to start running. But with that, we got a key. Looks like we need a second one, though. This one seems pretty obvious, same thing, but platforming, or moving the pl on the platform. Alright, so now we can go unlock that second block. The source of the flow. So I guess we have to go to the start of the water and fuse a kinstone. Didn't we just fuse with this guy? I guess him being gone means we can maybe get into that house as a minish. He was kind of blocking that path. Not really sure, but... 
just talk to Dante one more time before we go, just to make sure we haven't missed anything up here. right beside us. We guess can go check that out while we're up here. I guess it's a good thing we had the right pieces, that seems important. Okay, so if we came back up here, we could fuse with her again later. That seems like kind of a journey, though. go out that way. Okay, that's just how we got over here in the first place. burn the bushes. That's so kind of like a fun throwback to the first Zelda, I guess. So we fused a bunch of things that happened in Hyrule. Ah, uh, yes, one of them was this place. Is this just like a gambling minigame? <laughs> I wonder if we would have lost heart if we, like, heart pieces if we cho chose wrong.
Okay, this doesn't seem to be getting us anywhere. I think we're just gonna stop this for now. So we opened up that waterfall up here somewhere, if we find it. We haven't been to see Swift Blade in a while. Charge with the Pegasus boots and the sword now. Okay, so we can fuse this kinstone, and then I think we'll end the video here. Uh, so in the next video we'll figure out that waterfall that opened up and we'll find the source of the flow to fuse this gold kinstone with. So as always, thanks for watching and come see us in the next video of the Minish Cap.